MK with theartofmanliness.com. Now we've been getting a lot of requests from you all to do a video on how to tie a tie. And it doesn't surprise me. A lot of men out there today just don't know how to tie a tie. And I think a lot of it has to do with us becoming such a casual society, especially in the way we dress. Um, you know, a man could go his entire life wearing a tie just a couple of times, maybe at a funeral, at a job interview. And those times he does wear a tie, usually his mom or a buddy does it for him. You don't want to be that guy. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to show you three classic tie knots um, and one you might not have heard of. So you'll be ready to tie a tie for any occasion. So let's get started. All right, so this first knot we're going to do is the four in hand knot. I've also heard it called the schoolboy knot. It's a really easy knot to tie. It's actually the knot that I first learned when I first started wearing a tie when I was a wee lad of 12 years old. Um, what you're going to end up with the four in hand knot, the knot is a little narrow and it's rectangle and it works with any shirt. So don't worry about whether it's a spread collar, wide collar, whatever. You're going to start off with the tie draped around your neck and you're going to want the wide end on your right side and the narrow end on your left. And pop up your collar, button up the very top button, it makes it a lot easier to tie your tie. So to start off with, you're going to take the wide end and you're going to bring it across the front of the narrow end, just like that. All right. Then you're going to take the wide end and you're going to wrap it around the narrow end. So you should end up something like this. And then you're just going to wrap it around again, just like that. So you should look like this. Now what you're going to do now is you're going to take the wide end and you're going to bring it up and through this loop between your neck and your tie. Bada bing. And then what you're going to do now is take, you have this loop now that puts your knot. And you're going to take the wide end and slide it through that loop all the way through. Now a lot of guys love to get that dimple on your tie in the middle of it. What I suggest to get that, stick your index finger down the top of the knot, kind of down the middle and fold the tie around it as you tighten. So you get that nice dimple. And just to tighten it up, just hold the knot and the, the narrow end back here and just slide up until it's nice and tight. And then you bring your collar down. There you go, four in hand knot. And whenever you tie a tie, it's ideally the, uh, the tip of the tie should hit the belt buckle. Too low, you look like a putz. Too high, you look like a 1940s mobster. You don't want to do that. There you go. All right, so this next knot we're gonna do is the half Windsor knot. It's a step up, I think, from the four in hand knot. It gives you, more, it gives you a triangle shape, more symmetrical knot. Um, that classic tie look that a lot of guys are looking for. And it's great for ties that are made out of medium to heavy fabric. And honestly, I think it works with any type of collar. Some people suggest you should wear it with a spread collar, but you could probably go with a straight collar as well. What you're gonna do now, start off with the tie around your neck, the wide end on your right, the narrow end on your left, with the wide end draping a little bit lower than the narrow end. You're gonna take the wide end, bring it across the front of the narrow end, just like that. And then you're going to wrap it around again. All right, so it looks like that. And you're going to take the, narrow, the wide end and you're going to bring it down through the loop between your neck and your tie. Just like that. All right, so you notice you kind of have a triangle starting to form right now. And bring your wide end out to the right. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take the wide end and bring it across from right to left over the knot. So it should look like that. And then you're going to take the wide end and bring it up through the loop again. Let it drape down just like that. And then you have this the knot forming now. All you got to do is take the wide end and slide it through that first, first loop there. And again, working on that dimple. You want to get it stickier, just like you did with the, the four in hand. And all you got to do is just tighten it up. classic knot we're going to do is the full Windsor knot. Now this knot is your power knot. This is the knot you use when you want to land a job interview. You want to feel like the man. It's a big hunking knot. It looks awesome and it only works really for spread collars because it's so big. So use it with that. 
Uh, so let's get started. The, you're going to start off normal with the wide end on your right, narrow end on your left. And with the full Windsor knot, depending on the tie, you're going to want the wide end to hang a little bit lower than normal because you use a lot of material with this tie. And if you don't give yourself enough uh, slack to work with, your tie is going to end up looking like this. And then that looks just bad. All right, so start off, take the wide end, bring it across from the right to left over the narrow end, and then you're gonna take the wide end and you're gonna bring it up through the loop between your neck and your tie, bring it out to your left. So you should look like this, all right? Now what you're gonna do now is you're gonna wrap the wide end around behind the knot and to your right, so it looks like that. And then you're gonna take the wide end and then you're going to bring it down through this loop between your neck and your tie, like yay. And as you see, we have a triangle forming here. That's gonna be the bulk of our knot and bring it back out to the right, like that. And you're going to take the wide end, bring it across the front from right to left, like that. And then you're gonna bring the wide end up through this loop between your neck and your tie. Drape across the front, and now you've got your, your knot here. And you're gonna take that wide end and slide it through that loop there. And it's gotta work on tightening it now. And if you want that triangle shape, pull on the edges like that. See how it forms a nice little triangle. And just continue tightening it up until you get the way you like it. And of course, you can always work on that dimple if you want. And hold our collars down. There you go. Full wins or not, you'll look like the man. It's pretty easy. Just keep practicing. So we've done our three classic knots. We've done the four in hand, the half Windsor, and the full Windsor. And as promised, I'm going to show you a more obscure knot that a lot of men don't know about that's pretty cool. And it's called the Shelby knot. Now, the Shelby knot was named after or popularized by a 1970s news anchorman out of Minneapolis named Don Shelby. This was a time when anchormen were men, you know, like Ron Burgundy, right? Um, the Shelby knot is, works best with spread collars. It leaves you with a, a kind of a triangle knot. And it works really well with ties that are thick and wider. Um, so you, if you ever bust out one of those 1970s polyesters, let's make a deal type of tie from your dad's tie collection, use the Shelby knot and it will work perfectly. So you're gonna start off with a tie with a wide end on your right, the left end, the narrow end on your left. And unlike the other ties, where you start off with the, the tie facing forward, you're actually gonna flip it like this. Okay, so it's facing reverse. You're gonna take the wide end and bring it behind the narrow end, like so. And then you're gonna take the wide end and bring it up and down through the loop between your tie and your neck. Bring it back out to the left, like this. Then you're gonna take it from left to right, over. Then you're gonna take the wide end and bring it up through the loop, like so. Back down. And now you got your, your knot here and just take the wide end Stick it through that loop. And if you want to make that triangle shape, pull on the edges and then just start tightening the knot and bring it up to your neck. Like that. Pull your collar down. There you go. Shelby knot. 